Ugh, it's freezing in here. That little heater. <laughs> I need some kind of like massive space heater in here to try and heat this room up because in the winter it's so cold. It's single brick. There's no insulation. It would take. Oh, that's so nice and warm. It would take so much to um, try and make this warm in here. So I just need a really big heater, I think, because it's so cold. <laughs> I love the cold, but working in it is difficult. So I've got a new bike to look at. It is there. I could do it in stages and then just keep coming back to the heater to warm me up. So if you hear this sound, that's what it is. Let's get into this box. Um, so it's not a sponsored. Ooh. <laughs> so this is not a sponsored video, but Crazy Bird did send me this bike to try out and see what I think. This bike is sold in the UK, Germany and France. Sorry, outside of that, uh, I don't think they ship to, but there are links in the description if you're in the UK, Germany or France and would like to have a look at these bikes. Uh, and there is a discount code, JodyBoo, so you can get, I think, 6% off. So, let's we'll see what it's like. Got another toolkit. Some very junky tires. How am I gonna get you out? Go have a look. I got orange. Look at the size of that. It's chunky. I think everything is attached to it. I think every, these braces, I think everything is attached to itself. So I'm gonna have to put it out in one go. My box cutter is a bit blunt. You need some new blades. I'm going to look up to see if they've got any videos for assembly because whenever I try to read the instructions I'm, uh, I'm never able to follow them properly so um, I'm more of a visual learner so videos, video instructions where I can follow along are so much easier for me to follow um, than written instructions that have words that I don't know what they mean. Ensuring the correct tool. Okay. So I need to loosen this and these. to get good angles in here. And it is. Okay. Um. Okay, so the bike is fully assembled. There's no bike rack, which is a shame. But maybe I can get one to go on there. Um, because then I'd like a, a tail light as well. Having a front and a back light. We've got reflectors, throttle. Um, I think this might be a different grip for when you've got the throttle installed. It's illegal to use a throttle in the UK because it becomes a motorbike. Um, so you have to be pedaling <laughs> these bikes for these to be legal. And the bike pump, which is really cool. So yeah, it looks really nice. So we've got got a horn and a light up and down for the power. Uh, that looks like the button is under here to turn it on. Okay, come on. Oh, it's, oh, it said error, but now it's okay. Seventy-one percent. Um, and then that's the light. Jeez, that was so loud. Oh wow. That was much louder than I was expecting it to be. <laughs> that was so loud. Um, yeah, that's cool. Put the gears there. My battery's about to run out. I'm doing this for 51 minutes. <laughs> Turn the power back off. Um, okay. Last thing I need to do is check the height of the seat. It looks like it might be higher than it needs to be. Well, it looks like it's higher 
then it's lowest point and um, I'm gonna need it's lowest point so let's just see Stable, so put that down. As low as it will go. I'm still on my toes, so I'm five, three and a half, five foot three and a half, um, and I am on my toes on this seat at its lowest point. So it's probably the right kind of height for me. If you're a little bit shorter, you might struggle to touch the ground. <laughs> But I know some people don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I like it. I'll just take it for a ride now. So thank you, Early Bird, for sending me your bike. Um, crazy Bird, tell Early Bird. So this just shows how much I don't know how bikes are constructed. I had to change this. So when I came out of the box, it was facing this way and I watched the video and it told me to undo all of this and then turn it to the correct rotation. So I assumed, because it was already facing this way, that it was meant to then face this way to the opposite to how it had arrived. No, it's meant to go that way! So I've just had to undo all of that, undo all of this, put it in the correct direction so that it's pointing in that way instead of back, which meant this space was really small. I also had a spare bottle holder so I put one of those on there. I did get it for a different bike but it didn't have anywhere to attach one but this one does so that's cool I believe these attachments are for a bike rack so that would be really handy to get one of those to go on there this is the crazy bird jumper step through e-bike so this is the step through version they do have a high step but this is the step through so it's a bit easier for someone short like me to get on and off <laughs> so cold I'm gonna go try the bike <laughs> finally had a dry day ish I mean the ground is still wet from the countless amount of rain we've been having um, but it's not currently raining it's very grey it could rain at any moment but I'm um, gonna try and take it out gonna go around the road a little bit just to get used to it and then I might get Key out and take him for a little ride we're not gonna go very far because he hasn't um, like ran with the scooter for a long time um, and I've not taken him with a bike for a very long time so and certainly not an electric bike so <laughs> we will give a little test run to see how he does and how I do with him running beside a bike on a harness um, but yeah he's just started singing <laughs> probably crying because I've gone outside without him and he thinks I've left him but I'll be back in a moment <laughs> I'm not going far otherwise I'd probably uh, plait my hair um, because fluffy hair in the face is annoying stable. I love how chunky the tyres are. <laughs> Hello, it's your turn. Do you want to come for a bike ride? Do you want to come for a bike ride? Yeah? You got to put a harness on I'm afraid. Yeah. I've got to step you through this one. Yeah, you're boy. You're looking like you wish you hadn't woken up monkey. Oh, hang on. I'm not finished. I've got another strap to do. There you go. You're ready? You're ready to go for a bike ride? <laughs> Would you prefer to go back to bed? <laughs> What's he done to you? You can go for a bike ride. He's gone to bed. <laughs> Come on then. Ride. Oh, don't be so miserable. It won't be very long. Just a little bike ride. You get to run. 
You're supposed to love harnesses, apparently. You do not. It's a good run. Go, Come go on. for it. He's posing. <laughs> He's got his good side. Come on Clever boy. I did that my running. Hey, good boy. Right, we're done then, are we? Is that what you want to do? I don't know. Get on then, it's safe. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm still filming you, Keith. Alright. Come on. Right. Well, I'll film you all the way in. The horn is off now. You did good. It's been a while since we did that. Really. That. And then your leg out, too. Lift your leggy. Thank you. Oh, good boy. Otherwise, it would cut it too short if I go down the road. And I can test what it's like coming up the hill. Oh, no, the 
the bumps. So yeah, I could take this road down here, but it would cut the road really short. I want to continue going because this is so fun. Doing so well over these bumps because this is so bumpy. <laughs> Yeah, so I. Do you want to hand up? Oh. oh, sorry, I thank you very much. Were you trying to reach for something? Or were you just hopping No, I thought there was something on there and I was just trying to reach it. Oh, I missed it. Thank you very much. Okay. You know how at all? Yeah, good of, good of you. Thank you. Okay. I thought he was reaching for some coins or something. fun dirty so this is me post bike ride i'm a little bit hot with my puffy jacket on uh it's only like 12 11 12 degrees here i think at the moment so i cycled for 24 minutes and i did 2.4 miles and 107 calories <laughs> so it's a pretty good bike ride the battery on the bike went down from 77% to 56% and that was two really big hills so I'm not really surprised with that amount of battery going down um, and then for some of it I had no power assist so I didn't go down at all and where I can I just do one <laughs> as well so I want I like having the assist because of so many hills around here um, but I also want to have a good workout I love bike riding um, but I just hate these hills <laughs> and there are so many hills that would actually stop me from being able to ride So having the assist um, on an electric bike is just so good because I can go places with bike that I wouldn't be able to otherwise I love having an electric bike and riding with Key was fun um, He is a little unsure because we haven't done it for so long. We used to go out with the scooter all the time I had to take my jacket off. It was too hot um, But yeah, no, it's 11 degrees and windy so <laughs> I worked up a good body heat doing that um so yeah taking key out with this with the bike um was fun um but he's a little unsure of it like we haven't been out with a scooter for a long time we used to go out with a scooter um several times a week when he was younger um but we haven't for a while because of his arthritis and um and just not not wanting him to have and not wanting my braces and not wanting him to get too sore from going too far with the a scooter and having to trot the whole way so I didn't want to go too far with the bike anyway just uh, just to get him back used to going out with a vehicle that allows him to trot I mean I walk slower than he wants to walk but I think the bike goes a little bit faster than he is read prepared to trot <laughs> at this point um, but I think with practice we'd get there it would be much easier if we had some country lanes um, to go straight out onto so that uh, um, comes with buying my house, getting to live somewhere where it's more countryfied <laughs> and there's more lanes and if we had some land then we could cycle around on that all the time and I wouldn't even need to have him attached to me, he could just run beside me. But that's all future plans, <laughs> so for now it was fun. Um, he did try and pose with my mum who was holding the camera, so as we came up to her he stopped and just turned around to look at her. <laughs> Probably asking, what's going on? <laughs> what are you doing out here? Um, and why are you filming me? That's the early bird jumper e-bike. And my final thoughts are, 
it's really good. <laughs> it is, uh, it's comfortable, the suspension is great, because there are lots and lots of bumps and lumps in the roads, in the lanes back there, so it's, um, the suspension definitely made it comfortable, so my bum isn't sore, which is great. Uh, the battery life seems fine, I mean I need to take it for a longer ride, um, the ride that we've done before, which is really nice, and there's lots of flat bits and things where I don't actually need to use the assist, uh, but still lots of hills as well to test it out, um, so I'll need to do that at some point, because that'll be fun. I do need to straighten the wheel up, because <laughs> I noticed that it was um, facing off from the handlebars, and that's because it, in the installation when it came facing the other way and I flipped it because I was just mindlessly following instructions and then had to flip it back but at this point I had the wheel on and it was resting on the uh, on the kickstand which meant that the wheel was tilted which meant that when I tried to line it up with the handlebars it wasn't like straight on <laughs> so I didn't line it up properly so I need to fix that but that's my fault entirely my fault I could be happier with it to be honest I love the colour, can't see it <laughs> covered up. Um, I love the orange colour, um, it stands out quite nice. If you would like to check out Early Bird Spikes, then Crazy Bird. Have I been saying Early Bird this whole time? And if you would like to check out the Crazy Bird Bikes, I will have a link in the description. They're sold in the UK, Germany and France, um, and we have a little discount code for you. Uh, I think it's Jodie Boo, but I'll put it up on the screen just to be sure and it'll be in the description as well. But it was fun. I love bike riding and that was a fun bike to bike ride. So thank you Crazy Bird for sending it to us. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.